This is Katie Steckline with Mizzou Repro, and today we're going to take two minutes to talk about handling gonadotropin releasing hormone. When handling GNRH, be sure to wear gloves to avoid any exposure to your skin. GNRH is a peptide hormone that is somewhat likely to degrade at elevated temperatures. Store GNRH in a refrigerator long term and use a cooler and ice to keep product cool during transport and use. Direct sun exposure should be avoided as well. 18 gauge inch and a half needles should be used to give injections. Do not use larger bore needles. This could result in the product running back out of the animal after the injection is given. Do not use needles shorter than an inch and a half. We want to ensure that the product gets into the muscle. Inject at a right angle to the skin and ensure that the needle stays in the muscle while administering the product. Although reproductive products were traditionally administered in the rump, beef quality assurance standards encourage producers to give the intramuscular injections in the neck. This decreases potential for injection site lesions or other meat blemishes and high quality cuts. Cows may jump when given intramuscular injections, so make sure they are adequately restrained. As with any injection, avoid injecting through a wet, dirty area on the animal's hide. This creates potential to introduce pathogens that could cause infection. We also suggest changing the needles and using a brand new needle for each animal. This limits the spread of bacteria and diseases such as bovine leukosis virus and anaplasmosis. After each injection, change out the used needle for a clean new needle before drawing up product so that the contents of the bottle are not contaminated. It's very critical that the animal receive the full dose, so when using a pistol grip syringe, slap shot, or similar device, be very conscientious about the dosage they are receiving. If practical, you may consider using small, single-dose syringes instead. Several pharmaceutical companies have GNRH products for treatment of cystic follicles. Many of these products are also FDA approved for use in synchronization protocols. Most GNRH products are 2 mil dose, but be sure to verify the label dosage with any pharmaceutical. In ester synchronization systems, you may see GNRH administered at the start of a synchronization protocol to reduce variation among cows in the stage of follicular development. This ultimately results in cows expressing estrus in a shorter window of time. GNRH is also often administered when timed AI is performed to induce ovulation among cows that have not yet expressed estrus and had their own LH surge. GNRH is metabolized very quickly in the animal's body, so there's no FDA withdrawal period or milk discard time when using this product. 